Okay, this is a thermal camera. It is probably going to be the most interesting thing I tear down in 2015, even though it's only January 2nd. Uh, a lot of the primary patents and thermal cameras have expired, and uh, very inexpensive cameras are finally showing up in the marketplace. Uh, this little module here plugs into an iPhone uh, 5 and uh, with a lightning interface uh, and provides a stellar uh, amount of uh, capability for the price. It uh, sells for $199. I ordered it a couple days ago. It, it arrived uh, very fast, um, and uh, it is very usable. I, I turned my phone on, I plugged the camera in, downloaded the app, and uh, it works exactly as advertised. Okay, what's a thermal camera? Uh, it basically allows you to look at uh, long wave uh, infrared, which is, of course, heat. Uh, and, of course, my hand's warmer than the background here, and, of course, you can see that easily. Uh, I can tell, of course, that this is a, a cup of coffee, and the coffee is actually, of course, warm. Uh, the brighter the color, the, the warmer the temperature. So so I suspect one of the biggest uh, audiences for this particular camera will be for looking at houses and uh, heat loss. Um, it's a winter day here and uh, here's just a photograph of the windows and the radiator in my home. And you can see there's a mode where it captures the normal uh, visible light video and then you can uh, swipe across and uh, take a look at the uh, thermal profile. And it's as you expect, the brighter color here is the radiator and, of course, the windows because they don't allow the transmission of uh, long wave infrared. They look uh, quite cool. Uh, and they're quite cool because it's a cool day out. Uh, here's another photograph, same thing, doors, classic, of course. You can see that uh, this particular door uh, is made out of wood. And you can see the colder regions where it's letting more uh, heat escape from the house. So that's a, a very straightforward use of a thermal camera. Uh, let's take a look now at uh, some of the engineering applications of this camera. So it's got uh, the mode, of course, with just the color photograph. You can actually then ask it to point out where the hottest temperature is at the center point. Uh, there's also a mode where it'll actually show you the hottest and coldest point, which is helpful. And they have something called a threshold mode where you can actually set just a single uh, threshold and you can move it up and down. If the temperature exceeds the threshold, it gets a different color. So. Um, all these are actually extremely useful modes in a thermal camera. Okay, this is the Cree 4 Flow uh, LED light bulb. It uses uh, circuit board materials, a heat sink. That's actually one of the uh, typical uses I'm hoping to uh, get out of this camera. Uh, I want to look at the uh, heat flow on the uh, circuit board. Let me just inset the uh, movie I took of this, and it'll show the first thing I need to buy uh, in addition to the camera. Uh, you can see that it's relatively blurry. And that's because this camera's been set up to focus at that sort of 10 to 15 foot range, it looks like. Uh, now, this is actually uh, already a solved problem. Uh, on eBay, there is at least one individual offering a little a retrofit lens that you can slide over uh, and get a macro mode so you can uh, look at the actual uh, LEDs. Uh, it just popped up on the screen there as the listing of it. Uh, you can't just use a normal optical lens. The uh, thermal uh, Im uh, images uh, are very special. The lenses, though, aren't all that expensive, quite frankly. So... Uh, it's an interesting thing that will be added, uh, showing the popularity, I think, of the uh, camera, seeing uh, accessories are already popping up in it. Okay, magic time to be alive in engineering. Uh, it's, uh, this camera is uh, remarkable for the $200. Uh, the last time I bought a thermal camera uh, for work purposes, it was uh, close to $20,000. Uh, and quite frankly, this camera is uh, not too much uh, different than that one I brought uh, just a few years ago. So uh, this is a really useful bit of kit uh, in electrical engineering, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to get great use out of it.